Hey everyone, today I have a quick tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Samsung Galaxy Buds Live earbuds to your Windows 10 laptop or desktop computer via Bluetooth. It's really quite easy to do. Also stick around because I do have a setting that I do want to show you that's important if you want to use your earbuds for communication, maybe in Zoom or in Google Meet or in Discord to talk to people. There is a setting you should be aware of. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Everyday and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into connecting these Samsung Galaxy Buds Live earbuds. All right, so the first thing I should mention is your Galaxy Buds Live need to connect to your Windows 10 computer via Bluetooth. Most newer computers do have Bluetooth built in. If you're using a little bit older of a computer, it might not have come with Bluetooth, like the one I'm using right now. I needed to buy a little dongle like this that I plug into a USB port in my computer, and that allows me to have Bluetooth on my computer. I've got two of these. I've got an ASUS one and a TP-Link one. If you're interested in these, I'll have a link below in the description. Let's go ahead and jump right over to my Windows 10 desktop and show you how to connect these to the Bluetooth. So the first thing you need to do is open up the Bluetooth settings on your Windows 10 computer. In the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see your start menu. You can go ahead and left click on that. And a menu is gonna pop up that looks something like this. You can go ahead and hover up to the gear or sprocket here on the left-hand side. And when you do that, it'll say settings next to it. Just go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna load up your Windows settings here in your computer. Now we're looking for the option that says devices. For myself, it's right here at the top. It says Bluetooth, printers, and mouse. You can go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna load up your Bluetooth and other devices menu. If it doesn't look like this, you might have a different one selected on the left-hand side. Just make sure you select Bluetooth and other devices here on the left, and it should look something like this. Now, the next thing we need to do is make sure that our Bluetooth is turned on on our computer. You'll see there's a little toggle switch here. It says on right now, and it's blue. If it's off, it'll look like that. Just make sure you turn that on so that it's transmitting a Bluetooth signal that your earbuds can find. Now, from there, we need to go ahead and pair our earbuds to our computer. So you'll see an option here at the top. It says add Bluetooth or other devices, and there's a plus sign. Just go ahead and left click on that plus sign, and it's going to load up a new window that looks something like this. It says add a device. It's going to give you a few different options here. Bluetooth, so mice, keyboards, pens, etc wireless displays or docks, as well as everything else. So we wanna select the first one here that says Bluetooth. So just go ahead and left click on that and your computer is gonna start searching for Bluetooth devices in the area. So the next thing we need to do is make sure that our Galaxy Buds Live are in pairing mode or discoverable. In order to do that with these ones, it's really easy. Just make sure they're in the case, flip the case open and just leave them open like this and your computer should recognize them and find them. Let me switch back to my computer screen here. So you can see over on my computer here, now it says Galaxy Buds Live and it found that device. Just go ahead and left click on them and it's gonna start connecting to them. And you can see it says connected to music and voice and music, which is really good. So now they're connected. You can see it says it's setting them up there. So let's go ahead and get right into that other setting that I did wanna show you here. So let me close this. So back here on my desktop, I do wanna show you that there's a couple different options you can have to choose from. So in the bottom right hand corner where you see your speaker icon, you might have to click on the arrow here to see it, but I've got mine right here. I can go ahead and left click on that. This is where you would adjust your volume in Windows 10, but right above that, you'll see there's an option here to select your speaker or your output device for audio. Now, when I click on this, there's a bunch of different options that come up and you can see when I scroll down, I have quite a few outputs, so for, for audio, but you can see I've got two different options for Galaxy Buds Live. One's a hands-free audio, so that would be for if you're wanting to use these for speaking, maybe in Zoom, something like that. The other one is in stereo, so if you just wanna to listen to music, that would be a good one to pick. This is good to know if you're trying to use these for voice chat with your computer. Over here on Discord, for example, when I'm selecting what audio devices I'm using. Um, under input, I wanna make sure that the hands-free buds are selected, not any other option if you're using the audio. And the output here is gonna give me both options as well. Um, if you can use the stereo option for output, you are gonna get better sound than with the hands-free, but the hands-free is gonna allow you to do voice communications with the earbud. And really it's that simple to properly connect your Galaxy Buds Live to your Windows 10 laptop or desktop computer.
So I hope this tutorial was able to help you out in connecting your Galaxy Buds Live to your Windows 10 desktop or laptop computer. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.